One big topic on everyone's lips at this year's Air, Space and Cyber Conference were collaborative combat aircraft, or what are known as CCAs. Essentially, AI-powered drone fighter jets, the futuristic aircraft are increasingly important part of the emerging picture of a future Air Force. What if you could send pilotless fighters into the skies to wage battles and support manned aircraft? That's an option the Air Force is driving towards as fast as it can. For updates on the effort, we checked in with Air Warfare reporter Stephen Losey. Here at the Air and Space Forces Association's Air Space Cyber Conference in National Harbor, Maryland, a big topic of conversation has been Collaborative Combat Aircraft, or CCAs. These are drone wingmen powered by autonomous AI technology that the Air Force hopes to one day have fly alongside F-35s and even the future next generation air dominance platform that is now in the works. The Air Force wants these CCAs to carry out a variety of missions, including strike missions, intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance, electronic warfare, or even to serve as decoys in battle. This is the first AFA conference to be held since the Air Force awarded contracts to Enduro and General Atomics to build the first batch of CCAs. And both companies have brought full-scale models of what they have in mind. Enduro calls their CCA Fury. General Atomics' version is called Gambit. General Atomics is taking inspiration for its CCA from another drone it's made called the XQ-67. The XQ-67 is built on a chassis structure that allows it to be easily adapted with different sensors or potentially other capabilities. General Atomics thinks that by using the same kind of easily adaptable structure, it can save money and produce CCAs a lot quicker and easier. General Atomics is eyeing an ambitious production schedule for their CCAs and wants to produce eight to 10 gambits a month, maybe even more. And they're pointing to their experience building other drones, such as the MQ-1 Grey Eagle, as evidence for why they can pull this off. As for Enduro, their selection for the CCA program is a sign of their growing importance in the defense industry. Their booth here is the largest they've ever had at AFA, and they have big plans to continue with the CCA program. They're talking about building a facility to increase the production of Fury drones and other systems. There's still a lot we don't know about CCAs, including how much they might cost, but the Air Force wants them to be a fraction of the F-35's cost. But Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall has made it clear that CCAs are gonna be an integral part of the Air Force's fleet in the future, and their importance is growing as the threat from China continues to advance. The overall family of systems comprising collaborative combat aircraft, or CCAs, the NGAD platform, and other associated programs is moving forward aggressively. We are going full speed ahead on the first increment of CCAs. Here at AFA, you will see full-scale mock-ups or prototypes of the aircraft being designed and built by the winners of the initial CCA competition, Enduro and General Atomics. Both of these aircraft will be flying in the near future, and at least one of them will be in our inventory in meaningful numbers in the next few years. But what we've seen here is only the beginning for CCAs. The Air Force is already working on a second increment that they promise would be more advanced than the first. And we should hear more about that in months to come. For Air Force Times and Defense News, I'm Stephen Losey.